Hello children, welcome to another Sunday School lesson. This is Steffi again and today Marina is helping me and my other children, Leah and Hannah and Nela. We have another commandment. I have a story to tell to you. It's many years ago, I was very young and I went into a store and I saw a small little package and I thought it was like, you know, like this free giveaway packages for shampoo or anything. And I was very happy and I grabbed like five or six of them, put it in my pocket and went home. So when I was ready to use it, um, I looked at it and I got so shocked when I saw there was a huge price on it because each one had maybe was costing like three to four dollars and I realized I had stolen something without even knowing and I felt terrible about it. Um, the next day I went back to that shop and I went to the lady at the counter and I said I'm very very sorry but I said I did steal something from you yesterday and I wasn't aware I was stealing so I want to return it. This lady was so surprised because she told me you are the first thief in my life that is coming and bringing the stolen items back and she was so happy about it that she was blessing me with a whole lot um, of free giveaways, um, creams and shampoo and makeup and all these kind of things. So I learned a lesson. First, really look close to what you, what you take when you go into a shop and second, if you are honorable and if you are telling the truth it may have a good end after all so this is our next commandment today do not steal um, my kids had a lot of fun doing some videos about it and marina will read a little bit about stealing to you has someone ever taken something of yours and has not returned it Stealing is taking and keeping something that does not belong to you. When you take and keep something that belongs to another person, you are stealing. When someone you steals something sweets. from you, you, you may feel disappointed, frustrated, and angry. You may think that you cannot trust the person anymore. You may not want the person to be around your things. It is important to treat other people the way you want to be treated. Some people steal accidentally. This happens when they do not return something that they have borrowed. Or it happens when people take something without thinking about it. When you find out that you have accidentally stolen something, return it right away. I know I never gave this book back to my friend. Then, and I had it for three years, I need to give it back to her immediately. Some people steal on purpose. They know what they are doing. They choose to steal. Sometimes people steal because they want something or they think they may need it. They think that it is okay to steal because their friends do it. They might not want to be different from their friends who steal. Maybe they think that their friends will like them more if they do steal. I think to mix into the water. Some people steal because they think that it will not make a difference. They think that they, that no one will notice. They tell themselves that it will not hurt anyone. Some people steal because they are angry. They may want to get back at someone who did something to hurt them. It does not make any difference why people steal. Stealing is wrong, and it is never okay to take and keep something that does not belong to you. If you should steal something, do something about it right away. If you have not damaged or destroyed the thing you have stolen, return it. If you have damaged or destro destroyed the thing that you have stolen, replace it or pay for it. After you have returned or replaced what you have stolen, Say that you are sorry and try not to steal again. Ask God to help you not to steal. It is important to treat other people the way you want to be treated. If you do not want other people to steal from you, you must not steal from them. Thank you, Marina. That was a good lesson for us to learn. Maybe you can talk to your parents today and find out um, if they maybe did steal something on purpose or on accident. 
or maybe out of anger. Maybe your parents have a story to share and maybe they can have also like mistakes they've made what they, where they learned from and um, where you could maybe benefit from. So if you're happy, just go into discussion with your parents and ask them about if they maybe have ever stolen something in their life. See you next Sunday.